Greetings, this is Kim Turka, and I am here with the weekly wisdom reading for Monday, May 27th through Sunday, June 2nd. And as always, if you're viewing this video outside of that time frame, uh, I do not believe there are any coincidences and that there is a message here for you. This video found you or you found the video on purpose. So go ahead and take a few minutes to, go, to listen to the message that is meant for you today. As always, if you find the reading helpful or you resonate with it, go ahead and leave a comment and click that thumbs up button. And if you're not currently subscribed, I do invite you to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to receive notification each time I do release a video, go ahead and click the little bell on the side of the subscribe button. All right. So we are going to be using the Sacred Travel Oracle deck today by Denise Lynn. And I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards like I normally do. <clears throat> and when I do the reading, my intention for the reading is really to um, bring forward the message that really capitalizes on the energy for the week for anyone who is meant to view the video. So really trying to tap into the energy of the collective. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful card. So um, with this card, there's the first thing I'm seeing is just the, the words that are coming into my mind are self-care. It's really important for you to be taking care of you to bring beauty into your life. So um, there's a couple of things that are standing out to me. I'm just going to kind of go around the card. So um, the lotus is really standing out. And so to me, the message I'm getting around that is for you to be um, aware of the unfolding that's happening to you. That's also tied to these roses too. I'm feeling like the blossoming or the unfolding of these beautiful flowers. And the lotus is really tied to the spiritual aspect and the roses are tied to um, your own uh, magnificent beauty. So it's not only giving yourself the space to uh, grow on a spiritual level. Like sometimes the message I'm getting is sometimes we can get so focused on the growth aspect that we forget to take care of the body, the human body. And that's really important. And so this card is really showing me that it's time for you to not only be focusing on your spiritual growth, but also to focus on your health and wellness. And you can start by, you know, cleansing your energy field and really doing something amazing for your body. So what they're just showing me is do something that makes you sweat and then, you know, take a bath with some Epsom salts and clear away all that those toxins that have been sweated out of your body. It's really important for you to cleanse your system and to begin taking care of your body and treating it like the sacred vessel that it is. We are spiritual beings having a human experience and the way we have that human experience is through our divine vessel of our body. And it's really important for us to take care of and honor that body. I think sometimes that can get lost. Uh, we might know it intellectually, but, you know, we, I mean, I'll speak for myself. I don't love exercise. I have found that walking is the thing that works for me. So that's what I do. I enjoy it. Uh, I take the dog for a walk regularly, multiple times a day. And I feel healthier because of it. And like, whatever it is that you need to do to get your body moving and kind of get those toxins to flush out. Because when we're, um, 
when we're sedentary, when we are just sitting all the time or we're not active, we're not moving and uh, we're not engaging our lymph, lymph nodes and our lymphatic system and we're not shedding the toxins that we need to be shedding. And so in this case, you know, it's time to to start taking care of your body, paying attention to the food that you put into it and really getting your body moving. Now, it does, you know, you want to do an exercise or an exercise level that's appropriate for your health and wellness. And so, you know, maybe if you're not um, if your physical body isn't at its peak or you have some challenges, talk to your doctor. Figure out what it is that you can do that can help you um, engage in some kind of movement. That's really important. And then really um, spending time in or around water. The other thing that I'm being drawn to is this dragonfly. So I'm, I'm hearing that this is not just a message from the divine that you have your ancestors, you have people in your family that did not do this in their own lives who are really encouraging you to do it now. It's really important for you to take care of that physical vessel. <clears throat> So what I'm seeing in this card is this, like it's almost like she's, like she's manifesting something. She's in control of the elements. So in this, this card, there's a lot of water energy. And in this card, I'm feeling there's a lot of air energy. You know, there's a lot more yellow. Um, and then there's this kind of wispy smoke that's coming out of her hand. So again, <clears throat> this is talking to me about spending some time outdoors. So not only do you need to be, um, you know, in or around water, but really being out in nature and just breathing in the fresh air. The message this week is all about clean living. So how can you um, put yourself into situations where you're, you're being more active, you're cleansing yourself through possibly an Epsom salt bath or going in salt water if you uh, are blessed en enough to live by the ocean or near an ocean. Um, and really being focused on gut getting out into nature and breathing in some fresh air. Again, I'm really being drawn to the pink. So it's there's a lot of self-love uh, that's being brought forward at this time. It's really important for you to begin seeing your beauty and really love your body for the gift that it is. It's through our body, again, as I said earlier, that we're able to have this experience, that our souls have a vehicle to be on this human plane and be learning our lessons and to be growing. And so it's really important to take some time to not only take care of, purify, be active in our body, but also appreciate the body for what it gives us and what it allows us. I mean, think about the our your senses, you know, the, the taste and the touch and the smells and the, you know, the things that you see, like none of that would be possible without your physical body. And so you want to um, take some time to really be in gratitude around that and to really focus on self-love. The message is really simple this week. It's really just about taking care of you, taking a step back and, and resting and loving you. And like this, again, it's just so beautiful. In these two cards, she's resting, she's contemplating, and in this, she's creating. She is healthy and like her face is glowing and she is creating transformation. I mean, butterfly is transformation to me. So uh, she feels younger. She feels like she can achieve anything. And she's speaking this amazing 
new life into being like she's feeling renewed and that's going to help her transform to the next level so in order for you to kind of you know we've gone through so many um shifts with planets and uh, you know just i mean there's been lots of transitional energies and challenging energies and you know, as we move forward through that, it's really important for us to take care of our bodies and to cleanse that old energy away. You know, in last week's video, I, you know, there was some talk about not looking to the past. Well, this is kind of, I feel like this is kind of the final stages of that, where it's not only asking you not to look in the past, but to actually clear away those energies so you can feel um, really powerful and healthy and strong in the moment yeah i mean she's just really she's very vibrant there's lots of energy it feels like a maiden energy to me so it's like really this new energy um, that you're coming into once you take the opportunity to do these things so I'm going to go ahead and I am just going to pull a clarifier card um, from the James von Prague messages from your guides deck. And the card this week is trust your intuition. So when it comes to what it is that you need to do to, um, to cleanse your physical self to really be in your body trust what you're being guided to do like it, it really may be as simple as going to a yoga class a beginner level yoga class it could be just taking a walk or driving to the beach or to a lake where you've been thinking about going and you just have been eh, it's a little bit of a drive i'm not gonna go you know, follow your intuition about what it is that you need to do for you. The other thing that I'm being shown is um, to clear your physical space too. So you can do that with um, a sage bundle. You burn the sage and cleanse the space. You can do it with sound, drumming, clapping. Follow your intuition of where things feel heavy, where you're feeling, you know, like you need to shed and get into the energy of this, you know, healthy, vibrant, new uh, maiden energy. There you have it. I mean, really focus on you this week. Take care of you, your physical body, your physical space. It's about being in the human experience this week. It's about grounding yourself in your body and really caring for that sacred vessel in order to be prepared for the next phase of your journey so you can step through it uh, with strength and power and health and wellness. So here is to your beautiful human divine vessel and I, you know, look forward to hearing your stories uh, in the comments below. Have a wonderful week and remember, take care of you. You only have one body. Blessed be.